Hello, this is Claude, and uh, today uh, I'm going to make a video about if you have a microphone like I do have the Rode NTG a USB microphone, you can have an analog port out to carry the the sound of the microphone. So if you power your 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 microphone through USB, but not use it as a USB interface, just to power USB and use an analog. Uh, cable, uh, it can bring a lot of uh, electrical noise, hissing noise, uh, the USB power can do that. So you have two options, you replace cables and see what happens or change the power source and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to show you today uh, what happens with uh, the power source. I have a, a, a good cable uh, and as you can see right now my uh, Rode NTG cable or uh, microphone is connected to a USB 2 uh, on a standalone charger. So I'm going to change the different sources and you're going to see what happens with the difference uh, of the power source. You know, either different USB chargers or a juice pack and see what happens. So let's start Audacity uh, here and, and let's start recording. All right. So this is on the uh, USB 2.0 standalone charger right here. And see, it's fairly clean. Uh, now I'm just, I'm not, I'm talking to the microphone. It's fairly clean. I'm going to let it do white noise or, or no noise and see the, the curve, right, of the sound. It's fairly clean, all right? So let's change the power source uh, to a um, USB type C connector, all right? So I've got an adapter here. I've got a, uh, uh, okay, let's twist this around a little bit right here. I've got a charger right here and I've got the USB type A to C connector because the C brings more, uh, maybe it's because of a higher amperage, I don't know, but it brings more uh, noise into the recording. So let's change the, the source. All right, right now on the curve, you can see already in Audacity that there's a lot more noise. Right here. So this is on a USB, uh, you know, type a C 3.1 or 3.2, but I think it's 3.1. Uh, it, it brings a lot of noise. And what I've uh, understood and, you know, saw and uh, studied was there uh, the, the USB type C uh, at the higher amps brings more noise and this is clearly what I see here. Now I'm going to put a, a ground loop so very often people will you're gonna go on Amazon and buy a, a ground loop uh, style device uh, and then um, see what happens on the analog side so I'll do that I will uh, replace the cable and put the ground loop right now. All right, so right now I am on the ground loop and still USB a C, uh, you know, type three, you know, uh, three point one. So let's hear some, uh, you know, white noise. I can see on the curve right here that it reduced drastically uh, the noise. All right, now I'm going to remove again. I'll leave it on, at, at type three. Uh, I'll remove the ground loop. And we come back with a lot of noise here in the in the volume in the sound. All right, so I'm gonna just change the power source to another, uh, you know, USB uh, charger. All right, now I'm connected to another USB. Uh, this is type A over here, but it brought a lot of noise. We can see it immediately. All right, so uh, this is another uh, USB, uh, you know, but this one is type A. Uh, the other one was type C, but still a lot of noise in there, all right? So let's try a juice pack. No, that's the most isolated one. So if you want to see what the problem is, let's try a juice pack. So right now I'm powered through the juice pack and let's see if there's, uh, you know, hissing or electronic noise. A 
Very little, very little, I suspect. So I, I can't hear myself right now. So we'll see after when, when we hear the whole thing. You guys can hear it. I can't. Um, but we can see that there's very you know, minimal uh, you know, noise on the, on the graph. Now let's do a USB uh, 2.0 um, regular standalone charger. See what happens. That's my favorite method so far, but let's see if, we, if it's confirmed. And also the curve is very is very nice. There's not a lot of noise in there, so it looks pretty good. All right, so basically the conclusion is, hopefully when I hear back the video, what I'm seeing is correct based on what I send the graph. So uh, basically the type of cable makes a difference and also the power source makes a difference. But uh, you know, once you know you have a good cable, you know, change a different power source. Hope this is gonna be uh, helping some people. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Thank you, bye-bye.